Hi, for my next book, I have chosen Over and Under the Pond. The reason I picked this one is because it's a place where we might find a beaver living, like the beaver that was in the book I read about teeth. The author is Kate Mesner. You'll see it says it's by her. Then it says with art by Christopher Silas Neal. So that means he's the illustrator. Our publisher is Scholastic Books. Before I open the book, look carefully at the cover. You'll see a pond, and I see one animal that lives in the pond. Close your eyes. See if you can picture any other animals that we might find in this book that would live in a pond, maybe over it or under it. I know I can hear one animal in my neighbor's pond at night that I don't see, but I know it's there. Go ahead and open your eyes and we'll start over and under the pond. Over the pond, we slide, splashing through lily pads, sweeping through reeds. The water's a mirror reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds, then a shadow below. What's down there, I ask? Under the pond, Mom says. Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes, really gig beetles loop and twirl, skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forest of grass, while a brook trout lurks, ready to lunge. Mm, there's two words in there that might be new to you. Lurk, when somebody's lurking, that means they're kind of hiding out. Lunge, what do you think that means? means to go out after something. What do you think he's going to lunge at? Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three. They slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, sploosh, under the pond. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close. Cucklery! Red-winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. Under the pond, a caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Here you can see cattails like we have growing near our school. And at this time of year, we can see red-winged blackbirds. Notice the female isn't as colorful as the male. That's usually true about birds. The males are usually more colorful. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean out from shore, the shore. We coast under a low-hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We've interrupted his lunch. Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Over the pond, the wind gives a push and stirs the light dappled leaves on shore. There on a branch, a new goldfish teeters, finally ready to fly. Under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning to hop. They're losing tails, growing legs, growing up. Did you notice how they show part of the frog's life cycle? Did you find the goldfinch in the tree? Maybe when you heard it was ready to fly, it gave you a clue to what it was. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, 
takes one long leg step and strikes. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Over the pond, we drift, heads tipped up to the sun. A woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussels. There are the mussels. They live in shells. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle on quiet wings. Raccoons and minks stalk the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with a flip of a tail, a crayfish disappears in the dark. Well, you have to look closely for that crayfish. Why do you think it's disappearing? Can you see something that might be after it? Did you find the mink? That's another animal with fur. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up onto shore as a far off loon calls good night. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond. The prowling catfish and drowsy turtles and the scuttling crayfish and tadpoles turned frogs, wading herons and stalking raccoons. And the hidden world under the pond If you want to pause to read about the animals in the book, it gives you more information about each of them. Some of these are animals that we can find around here because we do have some ponds nearby Behind our school, there are some wet areas where some of those animals can be found. So when it gets nice and warms up, you could go there, look at the cattails. You might see some dragonflies. You might see some of those red-winged blackbirds. Maybe you might even find some frogs. I know there are a lot in the ponds near me.